In this video, I'd like to introduce you to First Class Mobile for iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. This is a universal application that supports both the iPhone and iPad form factors. In this video, I'm going to show you how the application takes advantage of the larger iPad screen to provide you with an exceptional first class experience. Here we are looking at the application in landscape mode, but it functions equally well in portrait mode. I'm going to log in as Joe Schmo, and you can see his first class desktop as he logs in. Notice he has access to all of his first class content. This includes such things as his calendar, contacts, file storage, conferences, mailbox, as well as his social workplace communities, and people. Let's explore some of these features a little further. Moving back to the first class side, let's open his first class calendar. We can see that first class mobile gives us access to all of my events. The contacts folder gives me access to all of my contacts and by opening a contact and clicking on the email address will initiate a new email. Similarly, if I were to click on one of the phone numbers, it would initiate a call. If I go into my file storage area, you can see that I have a number of Word documents, Excel documents, PDFs, and images. All of these are viewable through the built-in viewers of the iPhone client. Let's go into our mailbox now. I can see all of my messages as well as subfolders and conferences that I may have. If the message is HTML based, notice that I get full HTML fidelity. With a message open, I can click on the History button and view the history of that particular message. I can also file in a subfolder, check any available attachments, or forward the message on to somebody else. I can also delete the message by clicking on the trash can or I can go back to the list view and simply swipe any message and click on the delete button to delete that message from my mailbox. I can reply to a message and I can reply with quote, reply all, sender or forward a message. I can filter using the filter button and by entering some filter criteria I can filter my mailbox based on that criteria. I can click on the Edit button and Mark Records. And with those records marked, I can choose to make them unread. Or I can mark records again through the Edit button and choose to file them in one of my subfolders. I can create a new message, document, or photo, and when creating a new message, the first class directory is fully available. Notice the inclusion of an iPad specific signature, and this can be configured from the login screen at login. Let's return to our desktop now and go into one of our conferences. Notice if more than 999 messages are unread, the red ball indicates 999. Whereas if you've read fewer than that, the specific number is listed on the container. When we open one of our conferences, we can start anywhere with a message and then use the next unread to step through and view our messages. The vertical delimiter allows me to slide and alter the width of the two panes showing our messages. For those systems that are taking advantage of the social workplace capabilities of first class, you can view your communities. If I open one of my communities, I can view the feed, I can view the documents and open any one of the documents within the feed, and I can also view the wikis and edit them if I so choose.
You can view the blogs and profiles of people who you are following. I can open my own profile, edit and update my blogs. I can update my status or change my picture from my profile. And finally, if somebody invites you to an instant message session, you can accept that and enter into a two-way dialogue with that person. All in all, the mobile client is truly first class.